We already have a function that tells us which way we would like to turn. It's the find best neighbor function. All we need now is one more function, one that actually turns the robot where we want it to go. Let's call it the turn toward best neighbor function. To understand how it will work, suppose our robot is facing north, and the find best neighbor function tells us that we want to go north. So this blue turquoise color here, this, uh, that's the find best neighbor function's suggestion. And so we have the robot heading north, or zero, and we're going to find the difference between what the robot's doing and what we want it to do, which is uh, also a zero. So in this case, we get zero minus zero. And since we don't want the robot to turn, because it's already headed in the right direction, I'm going to put with zero, do nothing. However, if the find best neighbor function tells us we should turn east, then our robot's heading zero minus the find best neighbor suggestion, which is a one here, gives us a negative one. And that would mean that our robot should turn right. So whenever we see a negative one, we should make our robot turn right. Now let's suppose the find best neighbor function is telling us to make a robot go south. Well, the current heading is zero. We need to subtract the desired heading, which is a two. We end up with a negative two. That means whenever we see a negative two, we should pull a 180. And finally, if the desired, uh, the find best neighbor function suggests that we turn west, then we're going to have 0 minus 3, which of course gives us a negative 3, and that's a situation where we'd want our robot to turn left. So with negative 3, I'm going to write left. Now let's suppose our robot is headed east and the find best neighbor function tells us we want to drive north. Then we end up with a one as our current heading minus a zero, the desired heading, and we end up with a positive one. So when, the, when we get a positive one, uh, we actually want our robot to turn left in, the, in this instance. And if the find best neighbor function tells us to turn east, well, we're already headed east, so again we get a zero minus a zero, which equates to a do nothing. If the find best neighbor function tells us to turn south, then we get a one minus a two, which is a negative one, which means we should turn right, which makes sense in this instance. And finally, if the find best neighbor function tells us to turn west, well, we get a one minus a three, which is a negative two, which equates to a 180 degree turn. If our robot is headed south and the find best neighbor function suggests that we go north, then we end up with a, a two minus a zero which gives us a positive two, and because in this instance we want to turn 180 degrees, we want to associate the two with a 180 degree turn. If the find best neighbor function tells us to turn east, then we end up with two minus one, which gives us a positive one, and in this instance, we would want to turn left, so it matches what we already have slated for a one. If the find best neighbor function tells us to head south, then we end up with a two minus a two, which is a zero, and of course we want to do nothing because we're already headed in the right direction. And finally, if the find best neighbor function tells us to head west, we end up with a 
2 minus a 3, which gives us a negative 1, and in this case, we would want to head right just like is indicated here already. And finally, if our robot is headed west and the find best neighbor function suggests that we turn north, then we're going to end up with a 3 minus a 0, which in this instance we'd want the robot to turn right. So I'm going to associate the 3 with a right turn. If the find best neighbor function suggested that we turn east, then we would get a 3 minus a 1, which is a 2, which already correlates to a 180 degree turn, which is what we would want to make. If the find best neighbor function suggested that we turn south, we would get 3 minus 2, which is a positive 1, and would suggest that we make a left turn, which positive 1 was already tied to that. And finally, if the find best neighbor function suggested west, we would get 3 minus 3, which would result in a 0, and we would do nothing because our robot's already headed in the right way. Take a minute to note which differences are associated with which actions. For example, a difference of 1 or negative 3 results in a left turn. The first line in our turn toward best neighbor function will be the declaration of a variable called desired heading and we'll set it equal to the find best neighbor function in the maze class. Then we'll declare another variable called the difference which will simply be the difference between the mouse's current heading and the desired heading. After that, we'll use an if statement to associate specific differences with specific actions. So we'll start with the left churn. I'm looking for a difference that's going to be equal to a 1 because 1 was associated with left churns or a difference equal to negative 3 because that was also associated with a left churn. Then I'm going to make my mo uh, robot turn left precisely 90 degrees. I need to do something similar for the right turn and for a 180. I'll leave that for you to figure out. Once you have those actions uh, associated correctly, the next step is to make sure that your robot now knows which way it's pointed. Because it's turned, we have to change the mouse's heading so that it now matches the desired heading. Once you have finished the turn toward best neighbor function, scroll to the bottom of your setup function and make the following changes. Uh, first of all, we won't need the calibrate uh, function in order to test the turn toward best neighbor function. Um, we won't actually need to scan walls or drive anywhere in order to test it. The only thing we really need to do is solve the maze and then call turn toward best neighbor. Once we have this, we should change our mouse's initial uh, position. So I'm going to change it so that it's right above the target cell. So it's going to be the row right above, which W row 1 is the correct row, and then it's going to have to be the same column. Here you can see the nano mouse turn toward its best neighbor, which in this instance is the target cell. Furthermore, 
we can verify that the nanomouse actually knows it's pointed toward its best neighbor because the monitor shows it pointed in that direction. Take some time to change the mouse's initial position and heading so that you can verify your turn toward best neighbor function works in a variety of circumstances.